Tutorial videos where you share your screen and yourself at the same time are absolutely awesome high value educational content to create, but I have seen way too many bad versions. Let me show you what I mean. If the screen is too blurry or the text is too small to see and the presenter's face can barely be seen in that small box, then that is not a tutorial video that's going to wow your audience. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to create amazing tutorial videos that are well paced, fun to watch and create amazing value for your audience. So are you ready? Hey go getter, it's Salma Jafri and on this channel, I'll help you grow your visibility, credibility and profitability with YouTube. So if that's what you want to do, hit that red subscribe button and the bell icon and let's begin. Step one is three key pieces of equipment that you're going to need to share your screen and yourself at the same time. The first piece of equipment is a camera and I highly recommend using a webcam that you can either attach on your laptop or your desktop, or you can even use your computer's built in webcam to record yourself. The second piece of equipment you need is a good mic because good audio is essential to creating a great screen recorder tutorial. So I recommend using either a desktop mic that sits on your desk and plugs into your computer or using a lavalier or lapel mic that you can pin to your shirt, which also plugs into your system. And the third thing you need is a screen recorder software. So I'm going to be using Camtasia today in this example. You can start Camtasia for free. I'll share more about that in a bit. Okay, moving on. Step two is to optimize your workflow. So make sure that you've got the following four things optimized. Number one, your, what your webcam sees. So you on the screen need to be clearly visible. Your face needs to be visible. Your background should not be too distracting and you want to use good lighting. The next thing to do is test your mic and make sure that your audio is on volume is good. Do a test run and make sure that when you play back the audio, it is clear. Testing, testing, mic, testing, testing. The third thing I like to do to optimize my workflow is to open all the windows that I'm going to be showing. Now, what I need to do for that is have a great script ready beforehand. So I know what I want to be showing on screen. So if you download my video script template, which I'll put down in the description below, Hello, that is a great first step to understand how are you going to talk about it and in what order you need to show different things. And then I like to open up all the windows so that I'm not fiddling around with, oh, Chrome is lagging or my computer is slow or like the site is not loading or internet connectivity issues. Whatever load time stuff is happening should not be part of your screen recorder tutorial because nobody wants to see just a loading icon for ages, right? So you want to optimize your workflow by having all the necessary windows open beforehand. Another thing that I like doing is having my script on my phone as the other device. So because I'm using the laptop to do the screen recorder tutorial, I don't know what I need to say next. So I use the script on my phone. So I use Evernote to uh, script all my videos and Evernote syncs my phone with my desktop. You can use whatever as long as you have a script to refer to on your phone. And it just really helps with being in the moment while you're actually doing the screen recording tutorial. Step three is record. So as you hit that record button and start your recording, you will be presented with some options to make sure that your audio, your video is all looking the way that you want it to. And I love the option where Camtasia will let you hide your desktop icons. This is great for if you have a lot of clutter on your desktop. And I know a lot of people do, and that is not a good look for a screen recorder tutorial because it is too distracting. So you want to click on the hide desktop icon feature and not show all of that clutter in your tutorial. The next thing you want to do is make sure that in, you know, where the lens of the webcam is, you're looking straight at that lens and you want to hit that start record button. And as soon as you do, the timer is going to start. So Camtasia gives you a three second lead time. And in that lead time, take a deep breath, look into the camera and smile. Next thing you want to do is start your tutorial. Now I absolutely am not a fan of tutorials that start with the screen recorder screen showing first and you as a small picture in a picture. And the reason I don't like it because I'm a little lost. Like, how did we get here? Like, who are you? Like I, I need some context right? And I really, really advise that you want to start with your face as 
the starting or the introduction of your screen recorder tutorial. And as you get into what's happening on the screen, you want to give a little bit of context where you are and how you got to that position. So don't just start off with the screen, start off with your face and then transition into a picture in picture where you are showing yourself and the screen. Another no, no that I often see people doing is to talk with your mouse. Like you're talking and you're moving the mouse at the same time. And oh my God, it is so distracting. Don't do that guys. And if for some reason you have recorded your screen tutorial with a lot of distracting mouse movements, then don't worry because Camtasia has a smoothening feature, which I'm going to share with you in just a bit. Okay, my next tip for a great screen recorder tutorial is don't rush through the steps. Oftentimes when I'm recording, it feels like, oh, I need to do this really quickly. But in the edit, I, I wished I had stayed on that thing a little bit longer so that I could annotate it or animate it. Add a box, add an arrow, add a highlight, you know, just make sure that people understand, okay, this is the next step. And in a screen recorder tutorial, it's really, really important to make people see what the steps are and make it really, really clear what the next step is. So don't rush it and pause a little bit on the main points so you can add animations and annotations in the edit. Okay, now the other thing is that uh, any screen recorder tutorial typically would have a pause feature and a stop recording feature. So what you wanna do is use the stop recording feature to film in clips. So let's say you're done with section one of your tutorial. You wanna stop the uh, you wanna stop the screen recording because what that will do is create that file. And actually this is a really good test step to do. You wanna create the file and save it before you continue your screen recording. So what am I saying? I'm really saying that don't record like a one hour long tutorial without saving it because if something happens to your system or to the software or whatever, you might lose that entire recording. So record in clips and save it and use the stop and start feature to record in clips. If I make a mistake while I'm doing a screen recording, then I like to just stop and go silent because it's easier to find the silent points in the audio wave file and sort of see where that mistakes are and edit them out. It just makes the editing portion really, really easy. So if you make a mistake, just stop speaking for a while. So what kind of tutorial videos are you planning to make? Let me know in the comments below. All right, let's get to the good stuff. Step four is to edit your screen recording. Now, the first thing that I like to do in this step is to make sure that what I want to show on the screen is what is actually showing on the screen. So I will remove distractions and crop the actual screen that's showing. And so I like to take out any unnecessary stuff like tabs open on the top or, you know, I don't want to have like my email tab open or something. And then I also like to crop from the bottom anything like the dock or any other thing that's showing that I that is just kind of not necessary for the actual tutorial. OK, and the next thing you really, really want to do, and this is where the beauty of screen recording tutorials come in, is that because it's recording your face and your screen at the same time, you can toggle views. You can toggle between those two views so you can actually remove yourself from the screen. Let's say if you're covering up some important info or just to add a little bit of movement to your screen recorded tutorial. So it's not just a static, you know, people watching a screen so you can actually move or trim your your face recording and just show the screen and alternatively you can also trim the screen and then just show your face and you kind of want to do this back and forth depending on what is more important so when the screen is more important and you need to show the steps show the screen and when it is you explaining something show yourself and another great way of doing this is to actually separate the audio track so that you can make these trims more easily without affecting the narration and the voiceover of that file. I told you earlier that if your mouse movements are too distracting, then what you can do is use the Camtasia feature called cursor effects. Go in that and choose smoothen and that will make it so much easier for your audience to follow your mouse movements along with what you want them to actually pay attention to. There are some other effects in cursor effects as well that allow you to highlight, you know, so that people know where the mouse is because it's really, really distracting if you move too fast and they can't follow along. So you want to use this feature and make sure they can follow along. Another thing to make your screen recording more engaging 
is to use animations and annotations. So one of my favorite animations to use is called zoom or scale up. So you wanna go into animations and then scroll down to scale up. And what this will do is put uh, a zoom effect into the screen so that you can focus on showing the important part of the screen. So you wanna show the entire screen first to make that establishing shot and then zoom into the focus area. This is a great way to engage your audience and direct their eye to what is important on screen. My other absolutely favorite feature is annotations. You wanna go into annotations and you can do so much here. You can highlight text and that's a great way to, again, put emphasis on what's important. You can add in an arrow um, to direct the eye. You can add in a call out. So these are great features that you want to include in your screen recording tutorial to make it more engaging, easier to follow and add clarity to your tutorial. All right, it's time to export your amazing screen recorder tutorial. And so you wanna go into file and click on export and Camtasia gives you all of these different options of directly exporting to Screencast, to YouTube, to Google Drive, to Vimeo and so on. But I typically uh, export it as a local file first, just to make sure that I can review it and everything is okay before I actually send it to another platform. So I I want to click on local file and then I want to make sure the file format is mp4 and then click on export. As promised, I wanted to tell you that you can start Camtasia for free and I also have a 10% exclusive discount code for you if you use this code on screen right now and use that and go to the link in the description, click on that and use my code and that's how you can grab that 10% discount. Then you wanna go and watch this video next and I will see you in the next one.